welcome back to my channel. I am Kate and this is Moo Kate Collins. Today we're going to be doing a little impromptu video thing. Um, I had a video planned I was going to do and I ordered something for it but what I ordered didn't come in time because the shipping was delayed. So we're going to do this little quick video instead. Okay so I know this video was popular like around a year ago or something but obviously I wasn't here a year ago doing this so we're going to be doing it today and we're going to be cutting open some beauty blenders. Now these beauty blenders are I think around two years old so they're pretty old and just got a new one so I can do this with. Um, this one's mine, this one's is someone in my family who doesn't want to be named but it is not my brother. That gives you a hint. But let's jump right in and get started. I will prepare you. I don't know how exciting this will be but it's a short little video and I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, so here's our first victim of the day. Um, don't look at my nails, they're really gross right now. But I just painted them before. Um, I have the pink one too because I don't know how well the black will show. But as you can tell, this is kind of worn down and there are a bunch of little holes in it. I saw that some beauty blenders, like some people found bugs in it, which I really hope I don't find. But let's go in. Just cut it down the middle. Okay, so this is the inside of the black one. I'm going to cut it some more pieces and right now all I can see is just some like old foundation and stuff in it. But I don't think it'll be easy to see really anything in this one because it is a black one. Okay, so let's move on to the pink one now. The black one, I would clean it probably every like two weeks with the beauty blender little cleaning circle thing. And then this one, I don't know how often she cleaned it, but we'll see if we can tell on the inside. Ooh, okay, so this is what the center of hers looks like. As you can tell, the foundation, like, gets really in there and, like, starts dripping down. Nothing's in the center yet, but... Let's cut it in half again. Yeah, that's pretty much it. No bugs, no nothing. It's just the foundation starts to drip in. So I think what we can conclude from this video is cutting open a beauty blender isn't that exciting. Um, I didn't find any mold, no bugs, no anything unusual. I wouldn't think that I would have found in here. All there really was was just foundation and stuff. I mean, the only thing I can think of if people found mold in it is if they did, didn't clean it a lot, didn't clean it well enough. Bugs, I don't know. Maybe you put your beauty blender somewhere and like a bug got in it, but nothing was in mine and now I got a ton of beauty blender shards. With beauty blenders, personally, I like the black ones the most because they it's easiest to cover up the makeup that's there because you can tell the pink is obviously dirtier, but other than that, I hope you guys like this really short video, something to throw out there extra this week. I am feeling a little like sick so I don't know how much I will be vlogging so I wanted to get this out there for you guys. I hope you guys liked it. I hope this was a little quick thing you can enjoy, check off your list of watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow all my social media down below. I am Kate and I will see you guys next time. Bye!